the basis for good design are proportions. And the proportions are defined by the package. And the package and the proportion of the e gt are simply perfect. Now, honestly speaking, the, the biggest challenge has been to integrate a huge battery pack in the vehicle and to come up with the overall height, which is less than an Audi S7. So with each one GT, we combine two worlds, sportiness on the one hand, comfort on the other. This car offers space for four people. It's a four-seater, four doors, and this is a modern interpretation of a classical Grand Turismo. So we combine extremely sporty proportion with the comfort of a four-seater. I would say that the Audi e-tron GT is the new brand shaper for Audi. Uh, it's our highlight in our portfolio. And personally for me, um, you know, I'm working for, for many years already as a professional designer. I did many cars with my team, but the e-tron GT is by far the most attractive car I designed in my career. Um, the Audi e-tron GT embodies the next level in our design language. That means for interior and exterior design. With the Audi e-tron GT, we combine on one hand performance and sustainability. And this is visible in exterior design by these aerodynamic features like air curtain, flush rocker, this sharp edges, huge diffuser in the rear end. And this is um, improving the aerodynamics and with this, the range. In interior, this is getting visible by the leather-free interior. For the first time, you offer in the Audi e-tron GT a leather-free interior. That means all the carpets are made from recycled PET bottles. And the seats cover is made from recycled fabric and PET bottles. So this is for the first time we offer a really sustainable approach at Audi. The detail at the Audi e gt which I like most, is the rear quattro muscle. You know, this huge, almost a half meter muscle, which is shaped very dramatic. And this is my favorite detail. And it has been a big challenge to realize this in metal, uh, a fender like this. The Audi e GT offers nine different exterior colors, which you combine with different leather colors, le different stitching, and with fabrics, recycled fabrics. My favorite color for the Audi e GT is tactical green, um, and this in combination with this recycled fabric. This, this visualizes our progressive and sustainable approach. You have very special challenges when designing an electric car that has to be also sporty because you have different aerodynamics, you have a different layout in total, but we managed to turn this around into advantages. So we managed to design a very low car which still has all the Audi DNA and uh, that was the strong point about this project. At the front we still have our Audi face. We still have our single frame. On the side, in the general proportion, we still emphasize the quattro and the low center of gravity and a very puristic design. Very typical for Audi. For me as a designer, the important part about the e-tron GT is that it is a very consistent design. Everything comes together as one. The front, the side, the back, in whole of its proportion, it comes just together so well. That's why I think it's a very good result that we have here. The chocolate side of the e-tron GT is definitely the back for me because you can really feel the sculpture, the tension between the surfaces and how the volumes are really pure and strong. This is definitely my favorite view. Well, essentially, it was very simple. We followed the principle form follows function, which means that in extremely interactive and close collaboration with our designers, we developed the surfaces of the vehicle so that they have an aerodynamic function, but also an aesthetic function. We achieved this result in two ways. First, we ensured that the basic shape of the vehicle is such that a minimum amount of lift is generated. The second major feature is that we have three different active aerodynamics measures which allow us to calibrate the lift balance of the vehicle depending on the driving configuration. 
Well, the aerodynamics highlights of the e-tron GT are many folds, but if I had to name two, they would be, first of all, the outstanding drag coefficient of 0.24, which I think is very, very good for a class of vehicle of this type. The second if aerodynamic highlight is that through the various active measures that we brought into the vehicle, we were able to give our colleagues from the styling department as much freedom as possible to create a very, very aesthetic exterior design. It's very, very true that teamwork is essential when doing aerodynamics development. It's basically what we do every day. And a nice anecdote that I have is that when we were doing the aerodynamics optimization of the rear surface of the e-tron GT, we had the head of our lighting design department, Cesar Muntada, in the wind tunnel with us doing the optimization simultaneously together with the aerodynamicist. Aeroacoustics are indeed extremely important for a Gran Turismo of this type. We paid a lot of attention to the glazing concept, to the ceiling concept, and also used an uh, optimized uh, wing mirror in order to achieve the top results that we did for this vehicle. Even though I'm an engineer, finishing a vehicle project like this is in fact an emotional moment. What's particularly impressive for me is that we were able to achieve an outstanding drag coefficient in combination with a beautiful exterior design. And that's really something very, very important. The e TT stands exactly for that what we love at Audi Sport. A maximum of daily usability combined with intelligent performance in a, just a beautiful design. Of course, the RS e-tron GT is a high performance Gran Turismo, so we have fantastic um, driving data. For example, acceleration from 0 to 100 in just 3.3 seconds. But in terms of electric driving, there's another dimension of high performance, charging. And the e-tron GT uh, is able to recharge around 100 kilometers in just 5 minutes. The RS e-tron GT is focused on a maximum of driving performance. To give you an example, the RS e-tron GT always comes with a higher standard equipment. For example, the adaptive air suspension, the Audi carpet braking system, or the electrically controlled rear axle differential lift. Of course, the RS e-tron GT has much better driving and performance figures. For example, the acceleration from 0 to 100 in just 3.3 seconds, or the top speed of 250 km per hour. The e-tron GT customers are highly demanding, performance-oriented car enthusiasts who value sustainability, progressive design and progressive technique. Most of them are highly educated, middle-aged and have a high monthly income. We also think that they can afford more than just one car. In terms of performance, they prefer a very strong but also smooth acceleration, kind of intelligent performance. And they have passion for details and a maximum of precision. The Audi e-tron GT comes with an 800 volt system and a maximum charging power of 270 kilowatt. That allows us to recharge the e-tron GT from 5 to 80 percent in just 22.5 minutes. Very important to realize that fast charging time is our intelligent thermal management system with four different cooling circuits. It's just fascinating to, to sit into the seats in a very low seat position like a tailor-made suit, the materials, the, the feeling of the, of the steering wheel, of course the, the fascinating acceleration and um, for me it's always uh, to be a step ahead.